it is, I, I've just been a kid, okay? And I, I won't say it's completely uh, jiving and, and buzzing and popping, and, uh, but it is far, far more lively. Uh, people are much more confident, people out in the streets, people in cafes and, and restaurants in a way that they weren't even a few weeks ago. Uh, the Ukrainians won the, the Eurovision Song Contest. I know we had a fantastic entry, I know we came second, and I'd love it to be in this country. I'd, of course I'd love it to be in this country, but the fact is, they won, and they deserve to have it. And I believe that uh, they can have it, and I believe that they should have it. I believe that Kiev uh, or, it, or any other safe uh, Ukrainian city would be a fantastic place to have it. And I very, very much hope that, is it the European Broadcasting Union? I hope the European Broadcasting Union uh, will recognize that because I don't think it's right. This thing's a year away. It's a year away. It's going to be fine uh, by the time the Eurovision Song Contest comes around and I hope that the Ukrainians get it because they deserve it. Should the BBC therefore stop negotiating with the EBU? I, I, I've said what I've had to say. I think uh, I don't want to get any further into the politics of Eurovision except to say that I do think uh, the Ukrainians won it fair and square even though we had a brilliant entry and I think uh, they should be given the chance to host it.